Hi guys, I hope uh, everyone is doing well and I hope uh, trading is not giving you too much stress. You can see market has been a little bit uh, choppy lately with all the unemployment rates and news coming out. But yeah, so far so good. So welcome to one more video in our video series of uh, coin prediction. Now because uh, a lot of requests came uh, about uh, Polkadot, so today we are here with uh, Polkadot uh, analysis. Now in this analysis we are going to cover bear market low targets for 2022 for Polkadot and I will give you some buy reasons for the macro uh, Polkadot and uh, what are the buy levels I am looking at for the next uh, bull market and I will give you some short term trade as your trade ideas as well uh, that how you can plan to trade dot over a period of uh, one month or more okay so we'll keep the format same so let's uh, start with the analysis uh, video this is our third analysis video we have already posted analysis about uh, doge and uh, xrp and uh, i hope uh, you have taken some benefits out of it yeah so let's start with uh, disclaimers let me just uh, line this up for you so you can see what I am uh, talking about. Yeah. So as you can see that uh, DOT is again a highly volatile coin. So invest at your own risk and do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. I am just here to tell you what I do. And uh, once you get into a position in DOT, do not marry the coin and don't hold the coin. Okay. Take profits as you get some on the way up. And uh, yeah, I think this one is still uh, saved from before let me just uh, delete it yeah and dot is a good coin so it's quite a safe coin to be part of and uh, i like the coin yeah so having said that so this this is the disclaimer for uh, polky dot and like you can see that the dot and the uh, btc gearing ratio is again 1.45 like we discuss about gearing ratio always people who have not seen gearing ratio video i'll put it up in the, the in the corner a link for the gearing ratio video please go and watch it and uh, once you have figured out the gearing ratio like we have done here 1.45 we just multiply that by 34 because the expected btc drop is now going up and up so 34 is our major bear market low target so we'll keep that constant so you can see 34 multiplied by 1.45 is roughly about 49 uh, percent okay so let's start with the uh, macro trades let me just close this and uh, the macro drawings over here yeah so these are the polka dot uh, macro drawings that i have made for you you can see that dot has been doing uh, uh, fairly well yeah and you can see that dot uh, is more or less same like btc uh, hardly any change in the price structure but you can see that when btc dropped on 1st of april and it came down till 9th or 10th of may 12th of may you can see dot has dropped significantly okay so this signifies that there is a lot of uh, weakness in the coin and you can see that uh, it is not pushed up that well like other coins have done just 54 percent from the last low but being an old coin if ethereum has done more than 10 100 percent then they should have done a little bit higher okay so you can see that there is a clear parallel channel which is forming very good parallel channel so i've joined this to high and made the parallel channel and i have extended this low and i'm hoping that we get a leg down and all our buy zones uh, get hit yeah as you can see i put four buy zones here for dot now the first buy zone is aligning perfectly with all the liquidity which is present over here okay so if it comes down i'll try to enter dot over here okay if it gives in a lower low and you can see that this whole range for dot is completely full of liquidity yeah now there are some important points to watch out for here you can see this 7.2 level this is the 0 0.382 support of the whole impulse wave fib so this will be a very good support for dot so uh, dot can come down and test this area if it finds support over here it can take off also from here okay this is one possibility you need to look at for polka dot and uh, after that you can see if we break this support then there is so much of liquidity so it is just going to come straight or maybe a quick week to the down that is why you place your uh, buy orders a little bit low so that it gets uh, filled in a week and uh, delayed feeling is the delayed fill is the best feeling believe me yeah 
and then you can see as you go down and down there is a point of control which is coming at around 4.39 4.37 so this is the minimum i see dot going like this is the lowest i see dot can go down okay i don't believe that uh, dot will go more down than this yeah so i will try to place my four buy zones accordingly so i have just divided them equally because liquidity is almost the same and uh, you can see that from the current price this is a drop of 49 percent which correlates with our btc drop now if btc drops less than 34 percent then maybe you know this will also drop uh, less and you can see that from all time high uh, dot would have dropped uh, 91 percent so if you buy in this four zones then you know your average buy zone will be somewhere here 5.2 and this will be a very good uh, buy point for dot uh, for the next uh, bull run okay if you buy here then you can see that only till all time high from here if dot just goes to the all time high this will be almost a 10x okay a thousand percent return for you so this will be a very good buy zone for dot okay so this is the macro uh, time frame analysis for dot other than this i don't see why to make the chart more complicated yeah that uh, doesn't make any sense okay so what i'll do is i'll just take take the disclaimer out what you can do is take a quick uh, screenshot of this and you can save it yeah for your books and uh, yeah you can see the buy zones have been marked quite clearly using the call out button and you can just take a screenshot of uh, this page and uh, use it for your benefits okay so now uh, i hope that macro analysis for dot is clear so let's just uh, close this and uh, let's uh, focus on uh, shorter time frame analysis and shorter time frame trade ideas for dot now let's go to a little bit lower time frame and see that uh, how dot is doing okay so if you see the four hour let's start from the two hour time frame and uh, uh, let me just uh, build it up for you how i see it so far uh, you must have been clear about the abc analysis with all the videos that i am posting yeah so you can see that if i just uh, delete this let's uh, start everything fresh you can see that this parallel channel i've just joined this two and i am hoping that dot is finding some dot will find some support here and then go up to the upside over here yeah so if ptc comes down this is what i am seeing that will happen and you can see that uh, there is a lot of uh, liquidity in this area okay this whole liquidity area this is one more liquidity area and when it comes down this is one more liquidity area yeah so you can see in golden color i have marked all the liquidity areas for you so take a screenshot of this and try to replicate this on your chart because this will be very important for uh, shorter time frame analysis now uh, two three scenarios can happen here i see that dot has made this abc now because we are hoping that btc will put in a higher high so i i think that this structure will play play uh, somewhat uh, somewhat like this that uh, dot has already put in a low and then we get a higher low higher high where we tap the liquidity on top so this is completing our abc pattern over here perfectly if you draw a fibonacci here you can see that 1.618 is somewhere here so it can go and tap this area okay so this will complete the abc pattern and then you can see the bigger abc pattern gets uh, completed over here then i think that dot might retrace to this test this support zone again and then go up to tap the higher liquidity okay so this is the short term time frame idea that i see now why i believe that this idea will work is because you can see dot has made a clear abc here okay within the c wave which is within the c wave which is over here you can see that there was a beautiful abc you could have traded from yeah this is that abc pattern you could have traded from so once it put in a lower low and uh, took off from this level you could have entered a long on dot and it would have given you some very good profits 40 45 percent roughly yeah so if you are not in dot trade already then yesterday was your chance to enter maybe that uh, maybe this will come and give in one more lower low yeah and then you see that this abc over here will get completed like this and uh, then this 
this is the A wave, B wave, and then we'll get the C wave. Okay, so I hope uh, this is quite uh, clear to you guys that how I draw my ABC. And then once this is complete, you can look for bigger pullback somewhere over here. Take some profits over here. So this will be your macro short area. So you need to look for uh, short trades uh, uh, around this region. Okay. So and if it tests this area and comes down, then this uh, this will be your macro. <coughs> Sorry. This will be your macro uh, long area over here. Yeah. So you can just mark all these areas so that whenever price is coming here, you don't get confused and you're prepared. Okay. You know what to do and uh, you're not getting confused. Yeah. And if this pattern happens, then you can see this will be the major short area which I am going to eye because. If uh, dot reaches this point, it would have taken all the liquidity and I believe that markets will correct and this will be a very good drop to down almost 38-34%. Uh, this way what will happen is, uh, let me explain how the bigger time frame will work. So you think, you see this way you will have a big A over here and a big B over here. Okay. Now you are looking for a comeback to the downside. Yeah. So. Uh, what I mean is when you come back to the downside, if it puts in a lower low, then again market has become weak. But if it puts in a lower low over here, uh, a higher low over here, then you can see that uh, the concept of uh, higher lows is getting completed like this. You can see this was the low. This will be a higher low and then this will be a higher low. Okay. So this is what people mean when they say that markets reverse when they start putting higher lows. And once you start seeing such a structure then you know you can aim for one two three four five over over the area as per the fibonacci levels uh, it will come yeah so i've just drawn this i have not found the actual levels there is a way to do it one day i'll teach you how to figure out now if i get this uh, b over here and i'm looking for a higher low then this will be the most uh, this will be the minimum that i'll expect dot to come back and test and this will be the maximum I think dot will retrace to if the market turns bullish. Okay. And then from here we can take it uh, so on and so forth. Okay. So you can see that this is how you build the trade plan for the whole two, three months um, that you are planning to trade dot. And uh, you can just take a screenshot of this. And I, I'll, if I delete all those sub waves, first I'll just wait so you can take a screenshot. Okay. And then try to replicate this on your chart slowly. The more you do it, the more you will be uh, more good at it. Okay. In the beginning, it will all look confusing, but slowly, slowly, as you see that if I delete all these three wave pattern, like I always tell you that you have to group waves. If I delete all of this, then you can see that uh, you get a beautiful pattern for dot, which uh, satisfies all our analysis that this is the A. This is the macro B and then you get a macro C either here if the market is bullish, if it is bearish, we get a lower low. Okay. Once it is put in a lower low, then I believe that the long term correction has been finished and market can start going up uh, from here. Okay. And I hope uh, that this analysis uh, gave you some insights on how you can do your own coin prediction. Please uh, put in the comments below that uh, what are the other coins you would want me to do. And uh, we'll just follow the same pattern because you see from this analysis, just by watching one video, I'm giving you a trade plan for the whole month that you can do on your favorite altcoin. And I'm also giving you the absolute uh, bear market lows uh, prediction. Okay. So in one video, you're getting a whole lot of benefits. Yeah. And I think, I hope that this video has helped you. Thank you for watching guys. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And uh, Please uh, uh, share it with your friends and families, post it in the groups you are in so we can reach a maximum uh, amount of people. Okay. Having said that, guys, I wish you a very nice weekend. I'll be off for the weekends like I mentioned yesterday and uh, hope that uh, you have fun. Yeah. Happy trading, everyone. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.